Okay, and we are back. Welcome to the channel, ladies and gentlemen. My name is the British Eagle, and uh, today we are diving, flying, soaring into more Dragon Quest XI. For those of you who just showed up in today's episode and haven't watched any of the previous episodes, what are you doing? Go back and watch the other 11 episodes. I think we're on episode 12 now. Um, but yeah, we are playing Dragon Quest XI, Echoes of an Elusive Age, Definitive Edition. And in the last episode, we met a small child who somehow knew us, kind of, and knew she was going to run into us. And so we said hi. She's looking for her sister, but we will apparently talk to her later. So that's cool. Um, I have no idea how she knows us, but apparently she does. So now we're going to continue exploring the town of Hoto. Grasp one of our swords forged from flame and solid steel. Fear its sheer power. Welcome to the weapon shop. How may I help you? Now let's see, oh, okay, hold on a second, iron broadsword, that sounds cool, but it doesn't up our attack, so no thank you, cast iron claymore, the typical two-handed sword made from the finest iron, divine dagger, we already have that, poison moth knife, a deadly little dagger that can sometimes stop enemies in their tracks with paralysis, we've got a regular boomerang, and that is it, so I'll be honest, I'm very torn about what to do with this because I've been told to save my money because there's going to be better things along the way. However, there doesn't seem to be a whole lot to purchase right now. I'm really good on items. Um, I just kind of skipped this lady's dialogue. But like, you know, these things are kind of expensive. Um, we've got a bronze shield, a sturdy protective platter made from bands of beaten bronze. We got a feather cap. That's kind of cool looking. Leather dress, that's for a female, so I'm assuming we may be receiving a female on our team at some point. Maybe she'll be helping us out, whether it's the little girl or it's the sister or whoever it might be. Um, I don't see why we wouldn't upgrade and get both of these caps. I, I think that's probably our biggest thing. So let's, hold on, let's, um, uh, yes, I would like to buy one. Trunks, yes. Okay, so we got a feather cap. Let's go ahead and buy another one. This one's going to up our stats for um, trunks as well. But we're already down to 961. The bronze shield's nice. It ups our defense by two. Um, I'm going to hold off on everything else. I think upping the defense is nice. Um, yeah, because it upped our defense a couple. I think it was, what, three? So feather cap is nice. I want to equip something for the right hand, but I can't. Um, and there's nothing I can equip right now as like a gold chain like what Eric or uh, Trunks has. So I think for now we're good. I mean, to buy something for 900 to only increase my stats by two just doesn't seem very smart from a money standpoint or financially. So let's, um, let's keep looking around. We'll hang on to our money for now, um, even though we don't have a ton of it. Uh, let's see. We, did we go in the other store? I don't remember if we did. Did we just check this? I think we started here, didn't we? E uh, no, we did not. There's pots in here. All right. We got a hairy hide or hardy hide and a flaxen thread. Very nice. And there's a shelf here. Great way to start an episode. There's a picture book entitled The Tale of Miko and R Ryu. Trunks takes it from the shelf and has a closer look. Brave Miko and Ryu, protectors of the village, scour, scourge of the monsters. Foul creatures attacked in numbers beyond counting. They drove them all back. Yet, there was one beast, the dragon of the mountain, they could not suppress. But at last, success, the dragon was defeated. Though at what a cost, Ryu was lost to us, slain by foul Tatsunaga. Never forget him. Interesting. We're learning a lot by reading these books on the shelves. I think they are clearly beneficial, so... Okay, well, what do we want to do next? Um, let me talk to the lady here. You seek us, steam baths, then you must ascend these stairs to the Misty Peak. Okay, so that's good to know. So this is the way to progress. Before we progress, though, I do want to check out the staircase to the right over here because we didn't check this out last time, and I want to see what's up here. Um, I don't want to miss anything. I want to explore as much as I can, gain as many items as I can, and I'm sure there's a treasure chest behind something. Oh, no, but there's barrels, or there's pots. Copper ore. And a lamp light. Very cool. Ooh, look, there's the saunas. Man, that looks good. Um, okay, what's... Oh, can I jump into the saunas from here? Eh, maybe not. Okay, let's go over here. So there's a building I want to go into there. Um, before we... Oh, there's a quest. Ooh, we haven't had a quest in a 
Hot minute, okay. Let's see what's behind here. Anything, any items? No, I'm not seeing any. What's this way? There's a bunch of crow, ah, there's an item. We like items, flurry feather, okay. What's over this way? Anything? No, not really, there's no items back here. Uh, any items in here? No, I do wanna do that quest, that's probably what we're gonna do in a minute. Um, but let's check out this building. It looks like it's a, another hotel area kind of place. Oh, wait a minute. No, it's a blacksmith. Oh, wait a minute. Welcome to the item shop. How may we help you? Oh, cool. Ooh, a pair of pretty earrings in the shape of slimes. Ah, uh, it only increases our defense by two. Um, oh, but charm plus six. Ah, it's important to, um... It's important to check this clearly. I'm gonna buy one pair. It's 400, so I'm gonna give it to Eric. Yes, because he didn't have anything else. He didn't have a gold chain. So Trunks has the gold chain now, and Eric has the slime earrings. Perfect. Okay, so we'll stick with that. Um, it is nice that he gets more charm, even though he already has a crap ton of it, but that that's fine either way. The hammer rises like an eagle taking wing, and then it falls once more. Work the sword again, make a thousand folds of steel sharp as dragon's teeth. Now you're probably wondering, hey, British, you seem to be doing like a mixed accent of like, you know, uh, like a really bad Irish accent, a really bad American accent, like a British accent. Yeah, I'm just bad at all these accents and I'm just mixing them up. How they all got here in one place, I don't know, but they're just all these people have just these different accents. They're not consistent at all and that's just how I'm doing it. <laughs> The steel of Hotto celebrated far and wide. Our forge never sleeps. They come from the west, merchants from the desert lands, in search of our swords. Very cool, man. Very cool. Our mistress here is here, our guide in life's endless storm. She redeems us all. Interesting. All right, time for quest with big guy. Hey, look who it is. It's Mage Masher. What up, Mage? The sweat on one. Oh wait, hold on. If it's Mage, I gotta do a Mage Masher. The sweat on one's brow. The hammer of hot, on hot iron, the life of a smith. Art of our fathers, a village built on this trade, a proud tradition. We need iron ore. The mountains abounded in it. I, that's terrible, I can't do mage's voice, but either way. An endless supply. Help us to find it, gather the ore we so need. A reward awaits. A blacksmith wants you to collect a flu, a, a flu? A few lumps of iron ore. I love iron arms. Okay, sure, we'll do it. Your words glow like gems. You have a mintous spirit, a will of iron. Now, seek out that ore. Look for crystals in the rocks. There you will find it. Find a source of ore, rain down, blows with your hammer. The prize will be yours. Head west from Hodo. The earth's wealth awaits you there. Find me what you... Okay, well, we've got this quest. I mean, we could go do that real quick. The only thing is, is like, do we want to do that now? I think we can come back, right? Like, we don't have to do the quest immediately. We can just sign up for it and then come back once we are ready. So I think for now, we'll sign up for the quest like we just did. Let's go see our buddy, uh, Eric, and then we'll, um, uh, what's it called? We'll see our buddy, Eric, and then when we can go back out west, we will go ahead and try and complete that quest. Uh, let's see. You are impatient, restless as the birds at dawn. Come back when night falls. <laughs> All right, sure, bud. <laughs> she came here alone, fearless as a lion cub, a girl on a quest. She sought her sister, one va vanished like snow in spring. I pray she finds her. Sounds peachy, okay. Well, what's back here? Got an item? Ah, we got some pot. You guys know how we feel about pot. There we go, 14 gold coins, very much, very nice, very nice. All right, let's go this way. Oh, you have a quest for us as well. I will accept these quests and hopefully I can complete them. Six gold coins, a single file and a treasure chest next to him, very cool. Two chunks of gold ore. How many did I need? I needed like a bunch, I don't know. A wedding beckons, my son is to tie the knot but he needs a ring. I have the gold ore, but sadly not the talent to craft a gold ring. Could it be true? Could you have a fun-sized forge and know how it works? Please, forge a gold ring, and not just a normal one. My son demands it. Uh, the blacksmith wants you to use the fun-sized forge to make a gold ring plus one or better. Okay, we're gonna do it. 
What a joyful day. Now open this treasure chest. Take what lies with it. Uh, I kind of already did that. You will need this too. Take the tome I offer you and study it well. Trunks receives a recipe book entitled 24 Carrots of Class. He reads it from cover to cover and learns its incredible contents by heart. Trunks learns how to make gold rings. Learn the recipe, gather the item it's, it, items it lists, and craft a gold ring. And it, if you should fail, use a perfectionist pearl. Try your hand again. Forge the ring I crave. Do not equip it yourself, for my son needs it. Please, I beg of you, pray. Make my son's dreams come true with a ring of gold. Put a ring on it. <laughs> That's the name of the quest. I get it. All right, so uh, how do we do this again? There we go. Fun size forge. Let's try it out. Here we go. Level up. Very nice. Trunks' extensive experience on his quest has granted him new crafting capabilities. Trunks' maximum focus increased by two. Learn. Wait, Trunks learns double edged bash? Ooh. Double edged bash is a strong simultaneous strike over two squares, one above the other. Ah, it's the fun size forge. Okay, um. So I guess Forge recently learned recipes? Uh, yeah, I guess that makes sense. Yeah, so gold ring. So how much focus do we have? It's going to cost two out of three gold ore. Okay. Uh, view details. Okay. Yes. Do we have the focus to make it? Because I don't know if we had... Don't we need... How much focus? Oh, we got 63? Oh, we are solid. Oh, we're... No, that... This is gonna... Yeah, it's gonna take a lot to make this ring. Oh, <laughs> look at that. Let's go. Come on. Okay, that's perfect. So we're at 28 focus... That's it? Oh my gosh, we already used almost all our focus on one item, wow. But hey, we should get a gold ring plus one or plus two, so I'll take it perfection, yes! Plus three? Oh my god. Now I wonder if because it's above a plus one, if he'll give us a better reward for completing the, qu the quest. We got two perfectionist pearls, very nice. Um, okay, well, I'm good. There we go. So we're gonna complete this quest big hitter. Oh, oh we got a uh, trophy big hitter trophy earned awarded for crafting a plus three piece of equipment on the fun size forge Accolades ahoy a awarded for acquiring at least ten accolades. Wow. Very cool Do you have to bring one of refined quality shining like the Sun? Trunks hands over the gold ring plus three a wonder a joy all I had hoped for and more Please take this reward receives a cruiserang Oh, a cruiserang. It's a new boomerang we got. Very nice. We did it. We completed another quest, ladies and gentlemen. That was a pretty easy quest to complete, but you know what? I'll take it. All right, so let's check out this, um, this new weapon here. Ooh. Ugh. Um, okay, so we go down in four attack, and we go up in... Nothing else. Okay. A robust boomerang that packs a punch thanks to its four forceful blades. Yeah, but it's weak. Um, 48, 52. I mean, unfortunately, we have better equipment, so I'm not going to take it. But you know what? It will be a better boomerang than the other one. So when we eventually use boomerangs, this will be beneficial. So that's the way, one way to look at it. So we'll take it. All right, so we did a quest. We up also crafting is not a bad thing. That's a good thing to, um, you know, improve our stuff, I guess. So yeah, we'll take it. Um. Oh yeah, you already told us. Okay, so we gotta go up here to the baths. Gotta take a bath because we're kind of smelly. Um, which is hey, you know what? We've been on a long journey. I think it's okay that we smell a little bit. You know, we've been, uh, you know, dodging and running and hiding. So you know, it, it happens. What is back here? Any items? There's some... Okay, there's some barrels. Very nice. We got a pretty Betsy. Very cool. Uh, there's nothing over here, right? Uh, mm, it looks like there might be. Oh, no, there's not. Never mind. I thought there was something back there, but... Okay, well, let's head on inside. Let's do it. So let's see. What we got in here? Is this the bath area? I just want to check and see what's here. 
I will talk to you. So we meet again. Your friend is in the sauna, savoring the steam. Does it sound tempting? Will you don some lighter clothes and join your comrade? Yes, I will join my comrade in the steamy hot baths here to get the smells of evil off me. A wise decision. Let your soul be purified like fresh spring water. Changes into more appropriate attire. <laughs> Now you're ready, the entrance way lies ahead. Sweaty bliss awaits. So I go this way, right? Stop. What, did I go, oh. Oh, uh, there's a difference? Uh, I mean, yeah, there is, it's blue and red, but <laughs> I just went in the, okay, sorry. <laughs> oh, did I just go in the, f was I trying to go in the females one? <laughs> That'd be funny. Unless it's not a male, female thing? I I'm assuming, I don't know. I was wondering where you'd got to. Come join me. This turned out to be a pretty good idea. We've got the place to ourselves, so we may as well enjoy it. We've earned a little break, wouldn't you say? Can't take it easy for too long, though. Sooner or later, those creeps are going to catch up with us. So. You've been scoping out the town, huh? See anything interesting? Ah, her? Yeah, she was sniffing around here, too. She's way too young to be hanging around in bars, though. No wonder they kicked her out. I don't envy her having a kid sister to run around after. They have a habit of causing headaches. Where are you? Uh, did you just say something? That wasn't me. No, you really think that was me? Where are you? Where did you go? Uh, huh? I is that a good... <laughs> I can't find you anywhere. Oh. You scared us there for a second. What are you doing in here? <laughs> I was waiting in the end. You, you said you were g going to take take him off, but but you never came back. <laughs> Where did you go? Why, why did you leave me all on my own? <laughs> Sounds like she's lost someone. <gasps> Wait. This must be the girl whose big sister's looking for her. Why don't we see what we can do to help? How about you dry your eyes and tell us your name, kid? Uh, uh, I'm Connie. Nice to meet you, Connie. Why don't you come with us and we'll help you find whoever it is you're looking for. Is it just me, or did Connie say her name was Connie, and Eric immediately goes, Okay, Coney. <laughs> I'm pretty sure she... Oh, holy water. I'm pretty sure she just said her name was Connie, and you then <laughs> go pronounce it Coney? The kid's crying. At least say the name right. Jeez, Eric. Gosh, could you be any more insensitive? Okay, anyway. Um, so, yeah, we're just running around, doing our thing, looking around. Oh, that... Oh. You can lie in the beds and the water will fall. That's dope. Okay, that's pretty cool. Um, is this who we're trying to help out? Hello, thou art surpassing fair of faces. Will thou sample the sensual puff puff for a mere 20 gold coins? <laughs> puff puff. <laughs> sure. Tee hee hee. Well, then let the ritual begin. Puff puff. 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 Well, art thou not alive with pleasure? Puff, 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 puff. 
<laughs> Alas, the ritual is ended. Thy custom is here appreciated, noble sir. Pray, visit us as often as the mood taketh thee. Awarded to commemorate your very first taste of the exotic power of the Puff Puff. All right. I am not going to guess or say what I think she's referring to, but we're going to hope it's it's nothing crazy, but okay. Why was I not allowed in here? Oh, it's the women's area. Okay, yep, that's why. <laughs> yep. But we got some holy water. So I come out of the room like, hey guys, I know I wasn't supposed to go in there, but I went the back way, and yeah, sorry about that. Look. <laughs> oh. Oh, this is cool. Yep, it literally, yeah. <laughs> We're gonna come out and be like, hey. Eek, intruder man, a bold, ugly cuckoo stands in the nest of doves. Does the sun enter the moon's serene kingdom? No, be gone from here now. Where no man has gone before, a warder for exploring the great unknown. <laughs> she actually got mad at us for coming through the women's entrance. <laughs> I love it. That's wonderful. Oh, that's great. So, uh... Yeah, what do we do now? Thanks for coming. We await your return, friend. A seat awaits return. Do I get my clothes back? Where? Am I just... Head outside? Yes. I get changed, right? Okay, there we go. Cool. All right, well, that was unique. Oh, she follows us. Ah, okay, cool. So let's go find the girl. I'm assuming she's just back in the main part of town. So we've got Coney or Connie here, however you want to pronounce it. Um, so let's head back this way. Where are you at, Connie? Coney, there you are. All right, so we'll go this way. Let's see if we can get her back to her sister. I'm assuming she's just at the main part of town here. If not, oh, there she is. I see her. Oh, this guy's a quest for me? A strange girl appears, picks a fight with the barman, and then she is gone. Is she not aware? A little girl should be silent as snowfall on silk. Where is she, you ask? She marched towards the town gate. Perhaps she is there. I saw her already, but I thought you had a quest for me, but all right, never mind. <laughs> nice. Now listen, you listen to I me, you little girl. Question. I'm have telling you, you I haven't seen your sister. <gasps> well, well, what do you know? Looks like she's picking fights with grown-ups again. <sighs> hmm. I wish they told me they only let complete pigheads live in this stupid town before I bothered coming here. <gasps> oh, it's you. Hey, kid, good news. We found your sister. Why so shy? Aren't you pleased to see your big sis? I don't know why you're looking so pleased with yourself. That's not my sister. I've never seen this girl before in my life. Huh? Uh, I don't have any brothers or sisters. I've lost my daddy. Gosh, where do I start? Did you not think of, I don't know, maybe asking her who she was looking for instead of <laughs> jumping to idiotic conclusions? <laughs> Listen, short stuff. Nice. I'm not gonna let a little brat like you speak to me like that. <sighs> I hate to point this out, but you don't have time to be standing there getting your knickers in a twist. You've got a daddy to find. Listen, I want to talk to the owner of that bar, but I can't get in there on my own. Can I come with you? Sure, why not? I mean, we got nothing else to do but find a dad, apparently, so <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Thanks. I'll never get in there otherwise. You're a lifesaver. I'm Veronica, by the way. Right, let's get going, shall we? I'll look after this little one. Don't worry. You don't have to rely on these two dunderheads anymore. We'll oh find my your gosh. daddy in no time. You'll see. <laughs> Thank you. Kids these days, huh? No respect for their elders. Well, looks like we don't have much choice. Let's hit the bar. I love it because Veronica's like, um, I'll watch after the little one. I'm sorry, who's taller here? Look, you can see Connie is taller than, who you calling little one? 
<laughs> it's all good. All right, so let's head up this way. Veronica, are you on our team now? No, you're not. Dang it. I wanted to see if I could see, like, stats or, like, attacks or, I don't know, weapons that you have and stuff. Okay, so let's go ahead into the bar. Let's see what we got here for us. Welcome to our inn. A safe haven in life's storm. Come and make merry. Huh? Uh, warnings unheeded. The Is that our staff? That's so cool. It's got a red it's orb on top. I love it. She's with us. Do you have a problem with that? Understanding dawns. The fish has a chaperone. She is uh, welcome here. <laughs> no one's sitting here, are they? Service, if you please. <sighs> a fearsome young pup. Perhaps tea will soften her. A fine warming brew. That sounds lovely, but I don't have time for tea, I'm afraid. I'm looking for someone. I'll get straight to the point. There's a girl called Serena. Blonde hair, looks a lot like me. Have you seen her? Serena. Hmm. Yes, now I recall. The young girl sought her sister, but left without joy. That'll be her. Did she say where she was going? Westward she wandered, sensing her sister, she said, guided by voices. Huh? Westward? Oh, the idiot must have gone to help me, and I was already back here! Oh... I was kidnapped, you see. I was in the bathhouse when some monsters attacked me. They took me off to their lair. I managed to escape. So I came back to find Serena, but it looks like now she's gone to try and rescue me. Right, you lot. You're no ordinary travelers. Anyone with eyes can see that. I don't have time to explain all the ins and outs of it right now, but I need you to help me go and find my sister. Are you in? You know what? No, Veronica. We're not helping you because we've got... Um... Well... Damn, we got nothing going on. Alright, yeah, sure. We'll help you. Yeah, whatever. I knew you wouldn't let me down. Are you leaving? I want to come with you. Sorry, you're staying put. But don't worry. I think I know where your dad might be. We'll find him for you, so be a good little girl till we get back. You do realize you're a little girl too, <laughs> That's right? what I was saying. You sure you're gonna be able to keep up? <sighs> Who do you think you're talking to? Veronica, sage of Arborea and mighty magician, can keep up with riffraff like you any day. I'm more worried about you slowing me down, if I'm completely honest. Right, let's head west, shall we? The monster's lair is a giant underground labyrinth out that way. I'm pretty sure we'll find Serena in there somewhere. The entrance is on the coast. I know exactly who you are, you know. Don't let me down. Wow, how does she know all this stuff? I I don't know, but you know what? She seems cool. I'm not going to lie. Is she in our party? It doesn't show her in here yet, but I'm, I'm assuming she will. She was saying that she wants the girl to wait here. So we're not going to be able to find her dad until after we leave here. Okay. I was assuming we'd find the dad somewhere in the town, but I, I guess not. Um. Okay, so we'll go this way. Um... Yeah, I'm not worried about buying items and stuff like that and weapons. We're so good. We're, we're fine on weapons. Now, there is a quest that we can complete by going to the west. So this actually works out really nicely for us having to go west 
because that's where we can fight the enemies and complete our missions. So I want to see... Um, quest catalog. So, okay. You've been asked by a blacksmith in Hado to collect a few lumps of iron ore. Search for a sparkly spot in the west of the Hado Steep and you'll fi soon find what you're after. So here's my thing. Do I not already have the items? Copper ore. Should I just go talk to him again and see if we already have what we need? We have gold ore, two silver... I'm going to go talk to him again. I think we might already have what he needs. I I'm going to... Because I think we did this basically with the guy who we completed the quest for in the other part of town. We made the ring and talked to him immediately. Seek out Iron Ore. Look closely for its sparkle blessings on the rock. Look out for crystals glittering in the rock face. There you will find it. Find a source of ore. Rain down blows with your hammer. The prize will be yours. Head west from Hado. The Earth's wealth awaits you there. Bring me what you find. Okay, so it's not that... Okay, the way I was thinking about it was that if we didn't already have enough ore that he was telling us of a place to go get it quickly, but if we did, that he would just give us the, you know, we'd complete the quest, but apparently we haven't completed it yet. So, what we're going to do is this. I'm going to save because I don't already have a save file for this episode, so let's make sure we go ahead and do that. Let's save over top of this. Yes. Um, so guys, I think we are going to call it an episode right here. It's a little bit, tiny bit shorter than normal, but we're going to call it an episode for now. This has been a lot of story stuff, which is awesome. I love how much we've been able to do in the last, this episode and the last episode, but we met Veronica. She's a new partner on our team, or she will be soon when we leave. Um, thank you all so much for the support on this series. Hit the like button down below. Subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out a lot when you guys smash the like button and hit subscribe. Um, as always, continue to spread those positive vibes. In the next episode, we will go with Veronica and try to find Serena and maybe build a team outside of just us and Eric. So um, I'll catch you guys next time. Until then, I'm out. Peace.